Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Celia. I'm Jackie. And I'm Andrea. And our company is Doctor Smooth. So we have a lot of doctors today. So this is the agenda we're going to go through the brand insight, the objective, the consumer insight, the content strategy, the platform strategy, and the distribution strategy as well. So we're going to go through all the details right now. Brand inside, who is Dr. Smooth? Who is this Facebook person slash cafe? It's an organic boutique cafe for people who enjoy gourmet options and healthy alternative food um, for the mind that is good for the mind, soul, and body. Uh, Dr. Smooth is one of the characteristics of Dr. Smooth is they use the highest quality uh, Quali um, the highest quality ingredients and take the advice of health experts around the world. A little bit of the industry background is all the snacks are made with all natural ingredients and are rated, and this is a very important for the people because 40-45% uh, of the people, um, this, this is um, something that matters. They are environment conscious consumers that prior, uh, prioritize snacks with sustainable source and organic and local ingredients. And one of the uh, reasons to eat snacks is 60% of it is for nutrition, 60, 63% is to improve their mood, and 61% is to get an energy boost. Our objective is pretty straightforward. We want to gain a wider audience and establish brand and loyalty and trust from all our customers and clients. The consumer insight is the age is around 20, 30s. The gender, most of them, I will say 90% are female. The type of lifestyle that they have is like they're very active, they're very health conscious, and they're tech savvy. The interests that they have in common is like they like obviously food, they like to travel, they are into health, they are into fitness, and the type of lifestyle that they have. And location-wise, they are it's Miami and New York. There are plenty of Dr. Smooth here in Miami. So now to go into content strategy, we're basing it off of some consumer insights as well as the pillars of the brand, the foundation, their purpose and essence. Um, so what the brand does to start out in the outer shell, it's the foundation of the brand is to provide the best ingredients from the highest quality and to create food that is crafted based on expert advice from the health, expert advice from professionals in the health industry for the tastiest, most satisfying food that's also good for you. So that's the foundation of the brand. Some mm -hmm. consumer insight, as already she said a little bit about, is people want to nourish themselves with healthy alternatives. And also a lot of what we're looking to do for Dr. Smoot is based on the insight that people snack for emotional reasons. So we want to highlight that. The brand essence is organic, delicious, and mood and emotional enhancing food which is like their competitive advantage is that they their food is crafted to also influence how you how you feel on the inside your mood and the brand purpose is to use nutritious high quality products to make you feel good and then consumer insights the type of consumers that we're looking to engage and the consumers that they already attain their interests include snacking for the experience, for the taste, just like a light bite in the middle of the day, whenever. Holistics, which includes spirituality, mood, your emotional well-being, being in touch with nature. Active lifestyle, so that's an on-the-go, traveling, having events, working, family, just having a lot going on and being able to do all of it. And then lastly, health and wellness, which is the mix of nutrition, fitness, and what is in the ingredients that you're eating and how like nutritious it is. So to go into content mapping, we're going to see how the consumer insights and their interests, as well as the brand attributes, how they connect. 
We see that the organic ingredients, which is a very big attribute of Dr. Smood, ties in with the health and wellness interests of our consumers, as well as their holistic holistic view on life. Um, Dr. Smood, another brand attribute is that it helps people lead happy lives. So it's good for your mind, for your body. That intersects with the snacking aspect of the experience, having an active lifestyle, wanting to be around people all the time and do many things, and the holistics factor again. And then the fact that it's healthy and quick, it can be a stop along the way, but also with a lot of healthy alternatives, ties in with health and wellness interests, snacking, and active lifestyle. The themes that we created for our campaign are based on how all of these things go together. Oh, um, the first theme that we're going for is smart food for a good mood. So Dr. Smood, our people, our people, our customers see Dr. Smood provides a healthy and mood enhancing meal. They think the food is crafted by holistic experts, people with PhDs, very professional, using beneficial ingredients. So therefore, it's good for the health and they trust it. And they feel trust, they feel assurance, they know what's being in the, put in their food, so they rely on us. And that, as we said, is in, all going to touch the health and wellness, le- helping them lead healthy lives and happy lives. They're interested in snacking and they're interested in holistics. Then the next content theme is to highlight the experience, the overall moment that you have and the experience you have at the boutique cafe. Each Dr. Smooth Cafe makes me feel comfortable, makes me feel balanced, well-being. That's what you see because it has such a beautiful aesthetic that they purposely crafted that way. You think Dr. Smooth is a spa where everyone can get together and enjoy healthy food. Everyone leaves satisfied and happy. So that's what you think. You relate it to those feelings. And you feel balanced and fulfilled. No matter what type of person you are, you're going to find something that's going to put you in the right balanced place. That helps with the, that um, allows people to live their holistic interest life, active life, healthy and quick place to go stop along the way. And whatever you're getting and consuming there, it's helping you lead a happy life. And then the last one is about the nutrients that are in the food, the the sources, how great quality they are. Um, the theme is keeps me nourished. So here we're going to touch more upon the actual product and the ingredients. So these products, we're going to highlight the fact that what you see is you see that you have the strength to go all day because there's so much um, vitamins, so many nutrients that you feel str- you see that this food is going to make me stronger and better version of myself. Think, um, you're going to think Dr. Smooth cares about me, cares about all the customer's health, and they cater to this need. And you feel, you leave feeling empowered that you have the power to conquer everything that you set your mind on. All right, so, so now we're going to go into the platform strategy. Uh, we decided to look into the platform insights of the actual company. Is this thing working? <laughs> So um, their Instagram has an active user base of 21.2 thousand people. Their Facebook is actually a little bit more behind with 4.8 thousand people in it. And most of their fan base are women, like 82% of them are women. Um, So using that information, we decided to go with the two platforms that they already use because their third one is uh, is Snapchat and that one can be a little bit. So we decided Facebook because Facebook is actually really good at reaching an advertisement and like they have such a good and detailed way of targeting certain people in global and areas and just very good for getting that lookalike audience you want to get as well as the core audience. So we're going to focus on the advertisement over like nitty gritty details over sales and stuff like that on Facebook. Instagram is going to be more for aesthetically pleasing things, pictures, um, people having fun and engaging in the actual restaurant. You know, more of the things that people see when they want to have fun or have that whole feeling of I'm being healthy, this is a lifestyle, look at me. Uh, the distribution strategy, uh, we decided to go, like I said, with Facebook and Instagram and in uh, both of those we're going to go and focus on the smooth experience and the keep me nourished experience. While on Facebook we're just going to keep the good food, good mood um, attitude of it where all the details are put in for like the whole, you know, 
backbone of the actual um, company. So for the upper cam um, funnel, we wanted to put like a static carousel and video both on uh, Facebook and Instagram. These focused on national holidays and universal appeal with a call to action um, button of follow us so people can know more about the actual brand itself. The promoter content on Instagram would be more on the middle funnel where we target the core audience and there we can get health experts to help us out with the actual information and we have a call to action of learn more. On the lower one, we get local awareness on Facebook um, and for target audience and that's optimized for conversion. That one we get more local, uh, especially since, the two, since that company only has two stores at the moment in New York and Miami. So that's more for the walk-in aspect. So we're going to um, just give you like some examples of the content that we want to expose to our audience and how we're going to optimize for each part of the funnel. And we're going to look at two of the content themes. The first one is smart food, good mood, how we're going to tackle this. So in the upper um, funnel, which is we're really like it's like reaching the most people at this point, it's going to be a sponsored targeted Instagram or Facebook where we're basically going to appeal to something universal like feeling happy, feeling elevated and how Dr. Smooth gives you the it gives you the mood you're in the mood for. So one of the things of Dr. Smooth is that you get to like choose a mood, you get to choose you get to the cafe and you explain to them what you want to feel and they create something of your liking. So that's something really different. So we want to um raise that to the attention of everyone. So Something like Dr. Smooth gives you the mood you're in the mood for, where menu items are crafted to enhance your mood to the one you desire. We're not going into product, no details. That goes in the middle funnel where we're trying to get more interest, more engagement, and we're going to put actual products and like how maybe a specific item that they have on their menu will give them a specific mood. So in this one, we have like, we have a ingredient of of cocoa powder so that one like elevates your mood and it's proven to do that so we're gonna we're gonna put more detail in the middle funnel because it's like a more targeted audience and they actually are like want to see this information and then in the lower funnel which is conversion we're gonna have like our final push which is to actually get the customers it's gonna be like a, something maybe using someone influential like the partner of Dr. Smooth, the one that's in the head of research and design. She's a holistic expert, a physician, everything. So like a talk or something, we want to have like a, a workshop with her where all of our actual, the people who actually are converting to our customers will be able to sign up and go and see the whole experience. So that's where we'll actually capture them. The next theme that we looked into and saw some ideas of how we were going to do it is the Dr. Smooth experience, what you actually feel in the moment that you have when you go. So the upper funnel, it's going to more like touch upon holidays, events, like seasonal things. So one of the ideas that we had was have like a little video of a Dr. Smooth finals crash course. Like it's a really good place to to go study when you don't want to be stuck in the library. So we're going to have a lot of posts like that, like how to do, how to do finals with Dr. Smooth or, or Valentine's Day with like at Dr. Smooth. So just like, again, the universal appeal, which is the goal when we're in the upper funnel for awareness. The middle funnel is going to be like, some ideas we had were to like do like a week with Dr. Smooth of like how to do your Monday, how to turn your Monday blues into greens or how to cure your Sunday hangover at Dr. Smooth. So something that's like a little more detail oriented, but it still has that appeal, which isn't necessarily for like the typical, it can, it can relate to a broader audience. And then lastly, um, it's about the Dr. Smooth moment as we're going to do the hashtag. It's like tag um, your Dr. Smooth moment and like then if you tag the Dr. Smooth moment, you can get like a free drink or if you bring your friend along, you can get a free drink. So something that's actually like incentive for people to go and engage with the brand. And here we have uh, the example we used was Dr. Smooth can be your best friend's doctor too. And we want to say like bring a friend and 
have her um, like share the special moment of Dr. Smoot with her and make it about the experience, about sharing, about everyone finding it a pleasure. So those were some of the ideas we had for content and what they would look like. Another thing that we wanted to say is like Dr. Smoot uh, rewards their customers. So they have a, like a loyalty program that every time that you buy something, you get some points. So for example, we are like the best loyal customers ever because we go all the time when we have to do projects. So this is a place to be, like we said before, and I hope if you have the chance, go and try something because they are, they really look forward to you and they really like try to get whatever you want. So it's worth it. Uh, I don't know if you have any questions about uh, Dr. Smooth, our presentation. <laughs>